Hello, I'm Dave Polka, Principal Technical Instructor for ABB Drives in New Berlin, Wisconsin. And today we want to take a quick look at how to program an AC X580 VFD without a keypad, but using something called Composer Pro or Composer Entry PC tool. So in order to do that, there's a couple of things that you'll need. First of all, you'll need a CDPI-01, which is an adapter. It would fit in this panel port slot, which obviously we do not have a panel at this point. So this device right here is uh, available for any, from any ABB authorized distributor, drives distributor. Along with that, you will need a BCBL cable. And that cable has a USB-A on one end and what we consider an RJ45 or a Cat5 cable on the other end. These two items are, are again available from ABB Drive's authorized drive distributors around the country. The only other thing you'll really need will be something that you can compro actually uh, program with and that's Drive Composer. Now Drive Composer is a PC tool that is available on uh, free of charge. It's Composer Entry. You go to abb.com and type in the search bar Drive Composer and then you'll be able to download the free version. If you're interested in a more extensive version, that's something called Drive Composer Pro and that is available through industrial distributors also, any, any distributor I should say. And again, that's a purchased item. The key is the purchased item. You can download the software from abb.com. Now I mentioned earlier, this is an ACX580. The software or this connection capability is actually available for three products. And I mentioned ACX because the X could be an ACS580, which is what this is, industrial product an ACH580, which is an HVAC product, and then an ACQ580, which is a water wastewater product. Same principles, same connection, same drive composer PC tool, it all works the same. Now to get things set up, essentially what you need again is this, this uh, keypad, this uh, CDPI type keypad. And the first thing you wanna do is actually break off this tab right here, carefully doing it with maybe a needle nose pliers. I've got one that's already done here. The only other thing I would suggest is that maybe take a metal file and kind of take off the burrs because you are inserting a cable. It'll go behind the, the actual panel here. And when you do that, of course, with sharp edges, you could start some abrasion going in that cable. The only other thing to do as far as setup is concerned, there are two switches. The switch on the top is called the termination switch. You wanna turn that switch on, okay? The other one is a biasing switch, nothing you have to do to work with. And you're going to be connecting up to one particular drive, right? Okay. So then the other thing, of course, is we'll take our CB cable and we'll snap it in the first spot or first slot right here. Make sure there's a good hard contact, okay? And then take that. I usually put it down towards the bottom because there are tabs, kind of rocker it up and you'll hear a good solid snap. And now you're ready to uh, take the other end of the cable, the USB, of course, and connect that up to your laptop PC tool with Drive Composer or Drive Composer Pro. So now that we have our connection to the DPI-01 uh, panel adapter and using our um, BCBL cable, it's time to connect up to Composer Entry or Composer Pro, either one. So double click on the icon. And because we're not really using any inner ethernet connection, we don't have to click that box. Notice that there is a demo that you can do and you can also connect up on, or excuse me, offline. So pretty simple, just hit the connect button. And depending on the speed of your laptop, you'll be able to connect up to Composer. And we're, again, we're using Composer Pro in this case. And once it's connected, everything should come up on the screen. As you see, notice that it does actually connect up to the ACS 580. Uh, when we are using the 580, we have access to all of these items right here. Parameters number one. And what you would normally do is to set up the drive and connect up and actually set up motor data, as well as some other parameters that are uh, very functional and useful for what your application will be. 
The only thing I'd mention here is that you actually, if you want to see uh, all of the values change in real time, for example, actual values, the only thing you'd want to do is to click on that enable updating, and then you'll see everything in the yellow shaded area is uh, highlighted there essentially so that when you do start the drive, you'll actually have some change of values. And in order to start the drive, because we're not using a keypad, we're using Composer as a interface device or a keypad, if you will, I'll click on local. And then we have the capability of a fault reset, starting the drive, stopping the drive, and so forth. So if we start the drive and give it a speed reference of, let's say, 30 hertz, we'll go up to speed now. And as you'll see, things in the actual signal section do change in real time. So again, fairly simple way to connect up once you have that DPI adapter panel and you have the cable to connect both Pro or Composer, Composer Entry, to that uh, interface device. And if you have any other questions or you'd like more information, take a look at our YouTube channel, ABB YouTube channel. There are more videos available uh, related to Composer. And also, if you have a training account, there are some e-learning modules available, more in-depth on Drive Composer and how it's used and the functions that are available.